channel if you're new here welcome so today I thought it would be fun to do a little film room tour now granted this is not a really serious film room tour in the sense of this is exactly how your area needs to look when you're filming because let's be real everyone's areas look really different you see a lot of beauty gurus with the same sort of styles with like the Ikea Alex drawers but I wanted to show you guys kind of more of what I started out with a little bit more you know down at the bottom before I start getting you know more of the Ikea sort of tables and storage and anything like that because I want you guys to see how I've kind of started and then you know the furniture I'm going to accumulate over time because furniture is an investment and it's expensive. So as you can see, a lot of the furniture is hand-me-downs or they are things I got from Walmart. Even though it looks like a lot, it is because a lot of it I have accumulated over time and it just, we've repainted things. We've made them look nicer. Obviously some of the storage could be better. I could have a lot of containers that look the same. But once again, you kind of work with what you've got or with what you can get on a short time crunch because you really need storage. And so a lot of the money that I had for my YouTube budget, I invested into technology. So for example, I invested it into my ring light, I invested it into my camera, my microphone, my USB microphone, my backdrops, because I feel like that adds so much to a look. But a lot of these things aren't necessities. They're just things that I like for my personal style of filming YouTube videos. So for example, not everybody needs like 40 plus backdrops, but I like it because I like to have a variety that I can switch through that you won't see the same backdrop except for like, you know, 40 videos down the road because I want to be able to have some variety, but that takes up a lot of storage. So I kind of need a place to put those. So obviously like, it's give and take, it's whatever your style wants. I just mostly wanted to film this video because I am planning on in about the next month or so to finally be getting some Ikea storage. This table is so old and so I'm so excited because I'm finally gonna be getting an actual bigger table that I can put more makeup on and storage. I'm gonna get the Alex 9 drawers, I'm so excited. But I wanted you guys to see kind of what I've started out with. Now obviously, when I first started making YouTube videos, I still lived in Los Angeles and that was literally in this little, little cranny in my apartment because I lived in a studio apartment so it's just like this little square. I have to take down the backdrop stand every single time I would use it and then put it back up and then I got to the place where I was just keeping it in front of my TV because it was getting to the annoying point of taking it down and up again when I wanted to get creative and film something. So anyways, even though I have a lot, I hope you guys know that it has been almost a year and so I have been accumulating things over time regarding storage or backdrops, lighting, anything like that. So even this isn't every, like the small amount of things I've started with. I've already grown a lot in the things that I have for YouTube, but I do know that I'm going to be growing more regarding furniture in the near future. So this isn't necessarily to be like a, this is my film room, this is the film room you should aspire to have. This is more to just show you guys, this is what I was kind of starting off with and you know, just kind of giving you some storage ideas or anything. If you see anything that you might want to replicate to store your stuff, I don't know. I just hope this helps you guys because I know that I wanted to see something like this because you always see people with the Ikea furniture, but you always have to kind of wonder like, that's expensive, what can I use to substitute that with? So I hope that this helps with that. So anyways, if you guys want to see my film room tour, just keep watching. So to start off, you just go ahead and walk into my film room and this is how it looks. Then behind the door, we just have a little mirror where I will sit and do my hair usually. And I have my little basket of hair stuff just right here. Nothing too dramatic, just some simple curling irons. I actually have this for my candle up here. I'm currently really loving the raspberry peach macaroon and this one I actually believe is limited edition and they're actually going to be discontinuing this scent so I really like it. It's not the lavender macaroon that is my absolute favorite but it's pretty close so I love that. So we'll go ahead and come over here. I just have some little fun flowers. I got these quite a long time ago and I just kind of spray painted a little glass bottle that I probably got from the thrift store. Then right here I have this lamp that I've also had forever. And right here I have my battery chargers for my camera. Now as you can see this obviously isn't a Canon battery charger but it does work for Canon cameras. It's just not name brand but honestly I love it. It works. Don't need to spend all that money. And then my Canon one is right here. And also for the lights on my little headboard for the wall area I actually have it connected to a little foot stopper so you can and turn it off when you want and you can always turn it back on it just makes it a lot easier 
So we're actually gonna start over here. Now, right over here, we have a lot of workout equipment just because our house really isn't big enough to fit this where it doesn't have to be in this room because this room used to just kind of be an extra room that we had and then I was kind of able to honestly take it over and use it for my purposes, so that was awesome. But anyway, just kind of like hiding right here, I have my wig stand with this wig and when you're watching this, I'm actually getting ready to film the makeup look that requires this that has the roses on the side of the face so I'm just currently letting it hang because it is new and the curls were a lot tighter than I wanted them to be So I'm just letting them hang and gravity kind of pull them down Naturally, so I don't have to worry about brushing them out too much and potentially ruining my wig once again We're just gonna keep moving past all this workout equipment stuff But in a very horrible location I have my life cast which I need to move this because if a weight drops and smashes my life cast I'm kind of screwed because making these are difficult and I don't trust myself to do it by myself So here's my life cast We made it at school and I love it because blood sweat and tears went into it because I filled it incorrectly And so my teacher had to help me fix it. But anyway, I just kind of keep this here I'm trying to find a better place for it. But for now, this is where it is next we move over and and I have my full makeup kit that I use on clients. I hardly ever go into this for myself just because typically I like to keep everything separate. The only things that I will sometimes use from it are eyeshadows and blushes. However, everything else, foundations, obviously mascara, eyeliners, lip colors, those all stay in the kit. As you can see, there's some random boards here. Um, they don't really have a place. They go to my bookshelf and I'm trying to kind of make more shelves on here because obviously I have way too many books. So I'm gonna kind of work with my dad to see if we can kind of find a place for those in these bookshelves just so I can kind of at least maybe get two more shelves in there. I don't know, we're gonna have to see what happens with that. Anyways, so this corner right here is one of my favorites in the room just because it is so beautiful. I love the color scheme. As you can see, the whole color scheme in my room is a lot of blues, blacks, and purples just because it kind of, you know, it just reminds me of the stars and the galaxy. But this is one of my favorite paintings ever. So Charlie Bowater actually did this art and I fell in love with it. I actually ordered it from Society6 and I liked it because a lot of the proceeds actually went to the artist. And so I absolutely love that. I do think it was pretty affordable. It was a little bit more expensive, but if you're looking at a piece of artwork, I do think it is really reasonable. And so I ordered the print and I loved it so much. I decided to kind of create it as a piece of furniture. So I went into Michael's and got this custom made frame for it. And this is definitely one of my favorite pieces of the room. It means a lot to me. It's called um, the astronomer and it is just so beautiful. I love it so much. It really means a lot to me. So I just definitely have a very special place for that in this room. And I definitely wanted to just showcase that. Moving on, we have a bottle of flowers. And this bottle, my parents actually brought back from Italy for me because they knew I liked the color blue. And so I just kind of stuck some fake flowers from Walmart in there. And then here is a lantern that we've actually had probably for over like 10 years or something. And I found it in the attic. So I just filled it with some fairy lights that are battery operated. If you look closely, you can see the battery right there that I kind of try to hide, but let's be real, it's kind of difficult to do with that sort of thing. So looking on, I have these tarot cards that are astrology based and they're just so beautiful. I honestly haven't even opened them yet just because I feel like they're so beautiful and I kind of want to use them more as decoration maybe. Like I don't know if maybe I want to clip them on some clothes pins and lights and just kind of drape them on the ceiling. I don't know. It's kind of something I'm playing with. So I'm definitely thinking about that more. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. Moving over here, I have these two beautiful candle holders and these are actually from Ross. I actually switched these out during Christmas with some red ones and they're just so pretty and fun. And then I just have like this little sparkly blue mason jar sort of thing right here that honestly I should probably put some flowers in but that just hasn't happened yet so I need to get onto that. Next moving on to the drawers. So this whole thing actually used to be split between backdrops and wigs and it kind of got to the point where I now have so many backdrops that every single drawer is just full of backdrops. Literally every single one has different kinds. I honestly probably have, I wanna say almost 50 backdrops probably, but they're so much fun. So anyway, so the first drawer you open has all of the basic backdrops. So I actually got two from Amazon when I bought my backdrop stand. And so I have a white, I have a dark green, I kind of have every um, color of the rainbow essentially, and then some fun ones like teal, dark blue, orange, and then some stretchier and nicer fabrics like this really pretty magenta. And then you go down and you have like some maroons 
and this really pretty silver one but pretty much this one is just kind of full of all of the basic colors I don't actually go into this drawer as much anymore just because a lot of these kinds of fabrics they wrinkle really easily and so then I have to pull out the steamer and I have to use it more than I normally would so it kind of just gets irritating so it's actually kind of better to invest in a stretchier fabric that you can pull taut on the stand as opposed to something that you know you have to use a steamer every single time but these also are cheaper you can get them from Walmart for about a dollar a yard so if you're in a pinch I would still recommend getting that because something is better than nothing so next going into the second drawer we have a little bit more of fun sparkly sequin backdrops now actually I kind of used to have it by season but I ended up getting so many that I just kind of had to figure out a way to organize them best so this one kind of has a mixture of Valentine's Day and sequin backdrop so I have this really pretty Valentine's Day one I have that nice rose gold then you move on and you have a dark green sequin then we also have like this really pretty iridescent paisley moving on to down there the problem with backdrops is they're not the easiest to store if you have a closet I feel like that's best because you can just fold and hang them but when you have to fold them it takes up a lot of space so I would definitely love to have a closet for backdrops one day anyways I have this really pretty mermaid like iridescent sequin and then this is actually the first backdrop I ever got and it's just a really pretty iridescent sequin and I just love it so much it's so beautiful when the light hits it and then once again we have more pink sequin and that's it for this drawer going down one more we now reach some more of the fun character like backdrops so over here I just have some metallic colors like oranges blues I have some reds and then I have some overlays down there so I have this really pretty blue star overlay and then also a really pretty gold one that I used for Wonder Woman about a year ago then we have this really pretty kind of gray tie-dye that I used for a lot of my smoke themed makeup looks so we have have that next we have another really pretty silver overlay another pretty opal overlay and then once again we have the space one that I used for Lady Macbeth and then over here we have a really pretty petal one that I like this because I actually used this side that you see right now for the actual backdrop and this is actually the back side of it but I liked it better than this one because I used this for the Anatomy of Fiona makeup look and I just felt like it looked so pretty we have this purple and green iridescent one which I wish the lights of my cameras and lighting that I have here caught it better for the sake of makeup tutorials because it's so gorgeous but I feel like my camera never picks it up except now you can see it which is really nice and then we have a shower curtain down there and once again another starry background so that is it for this drawer so this drawer is kind of my designated Halloween drawer so right over here we have this really pretty kind of burlap looking one but on the other side of it it has this red distressed metallic look which is beautiful and I use that for for my Pennywise tutorial and then you go down and we have another double-sided one that has this dark tie-dye but on the other side it's all tattered and then you move over here once again you just have some really fun overlays to play with and really add up to your overall look so once again I absolutely love getting these especially when they are on sale because you can definitely get a lot for your money's worth and the last drawer since we had a Halloween drawer we have a Christmas drawer this one just has a lot of green backdrops kind of ones that I use specifically for Christmas but that I don't really use for a lot of other times during the year but if I do need for example this one I can just come grab it so I kind of put the ones that I might use more up at the top that one down there is actually the one I used for Rudolph it's really thick so I kind of like to put the thicker backdrops at the bottom just because it's kind of harder to get to and I typically don't go for them so much so that is it for my backdrop drawer so next we're going to be moving on to this little area Area right here so first off this is just a little flower and vase that I got from probably Ross to be honest and then we come down here and I just have some of my extra makeup in the back here and just kind of like a little folder holder that you can get from Walmart or Target or anything like that and then right here I like to have the kind of toners that I handmade for my clients so for example we have grapefruit lavender we have cucumber lemon and then we also have some rose and lavender extracts inside of toners and so they're really refreshing and so I love to kind of give my clients the option of hey which one do you want because it kind of just adds to the experience next moving down I have a picture of my little sister and I and then a little Bible verse and I just kind of keep this here because I feel like it's a nice use of space then you come down again and this is my lash station once again I used to keep my lashes in this guy but once again with all the backdrops it kind of got hard so I 
kind of just store all of them in here and I kind of like to keep all my special effects ones over here and the ones that I kind of use more on the daily over in this area and so I recently got the Morphe lash books because I happen to have a problem where I will have a lot of extra lashes that don't have a case so I can finally start to store them in here so I'm really excited about that next we have two drawers in the first drawer, I just have a lot of extra electrical plugs and wall scents and all that stuff that I don't usually use on a daily basis. And then down here, just because these drawers are harder to open, I keep all of my airbrush stuff. So here's my airbrush kit here, here's my airbrush gun, and then I have all of my airbrush paints right in here. And so these are the Maron liquid makeup paints. And so I just kind of have all of the colors of the rainbow right there with two skin tones so we can kind of mix and match to get the perfect shade. Moving on to the desk area. So this desk I've actually once again had since we lived in Ohio. So that was probably about over 10 years ago. And so we just kind of repainted it. It was an old desk. Don't even know where we got it from. And so starting over here, I have two calendars. One is my YouTube calendar where I track all of my hours and the other is my calendar that I kind of put everything in. So this one I like to hold on to just because I like to see how much work I'm dedicating each week to YouTube. And so I just kind of like to write it all down and kind of see and be able to keep track of everything I'm doing because for me, I want to make sure that I'm putting enough effort into this and so it kind of holds me accountable to make sure I'm doing enough. So I like to just kind of keep up there and I keep updating it whenever I start filming and filming just so I can really keep track of my hours. Real fast, my chair is actually from Walmart. I don't know the name of it, but if I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. I chose to get the color blue just to kind of go with the accents, but I love this so much. It is so comfortable. It's so easy to put together and it was really cheap too. It was uh, probably $25 maybe and so I really love it. It was definitely worth the money So we're gonna come back over here now and so right here. I have my external hard drive I believe this is eight terabytes and I kind of take all of my backups stored and finished videos and Pictures from clients school anything like that And I store that here just because I like to keep my other hard drive for strictly editing and this is kind of the uh, Base hard drive where all of the finished videos all of the old footage everything that I'm done with and that I don't have to worry about anymore will be stored here just so I can have it for safekeeping. And then right here, I have my Rode NT USB mic. And so I use this for voiceovers. I love it so much. It does have a really long cord, which is nice if you happen to have an arm on your desk to hold onto it. But since I don't, I just kind of keep that cord all balled up, but I really love it. I feel like it gives amazing sound quality, but if you need a more affordable option, I would probably recommend the Blue Snowball or the Blue Yeti. Next, we have my laptop. I just have the Mac 15 inch Retina display laptop and I got this as a graduation gift. And so I've been using this for editing every single day. I honestly don't know what I would do without this because this is where I edit everything. And basically everything I ever need is on this laptop. And I also have all of the stuff for editing moved onto my hard drive. Now, if you wanna know more about hard drives and transferring things and just why I basically had to get this for editing, I will be talking about that more in my next video where I kind of go more in depth with all of the technical aspects of my YouTube channel and the gear that I use and anything that you guys might want to know of like basically how I started, I'm going to be listing that in the next video and just kind of going more in depth. Then I basically just have some extra SD cards and flash drives right here and I just kind of throw them there so I don't misplace them and I kind of just know where they are. When I just have a pencil bag, nothing exciting, just pencils. So on to this little guy right here. I actually got this from, I believe it was Staples and I had to order it. And I mean, it's nice. It works if you don't have a lot of makeup, but because I'm getting more, I'm actually probably going to be moving on to the Alex nine drawers just because these are really flimsy and they fall apart and they're not really organized anymore just because the spacing wasn't really working. So I'm not even going to go through this and show my storage for it just because it's literally all over the place. I mean, you can kind of break it down to face, lips, bronzers, contour, highlight, lipsticks, eyebrows, you know, eyeshadows, anything like that. It's honestly completely up to you, but I just kind of reach for my most recent lip stuff here. So here's all of my lip stuff for the most part, all of my liquid lipsticks, all of my lippy sticks, everything that I really absolutely love. And then here are the new products that I'm trying to use more of. So if I put them here, I actually might grab them more. So I have a lot of the new ColourPop lipsticks right here. And hopefully by putting them here and more in my site, I will actually reach for them more.
Next, we're moving on to my actual favorite part of the room, and that is my two bookshelves. I am actually completely obsessed with these, and like just the way it looks it makes me so happy. This is actually my favorite piece of furniture that I've ever had, and I honestly don't know what I would do without them. So first of all, going up here, hello, I'm short, I can't really reach. Anyways, those are just some flowers that once again, I probably got from Joann's or Michael's. This is a crown that I got from eBay. I will leave that linked down below because it's so beautiful and you guys need to check it out. That is just a picture frame of me and my best friend. I have two roses that are now dead and I kind of collect my roses from special events and just kind of, you know, we'll use them as decoration. So you guys should see my room with completely covered and dead flowers, which is, disgusting but cool I guess. Then I just have two journals that are kind of star themed that I kind of like to showcase up there. They're completely empty. I just think they look pretty. And moving on over here, we have this really pretty candle set that we have actually had since Ohio and I actually just switched out the candles for some purple ones because they actually used to be like orange or something. And then once again, I just have a mixture of fake and real flowers. These little guys are actually real and this is completely fake, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I just kind of stuck it up there. Now here's the thing with these bookshelves. I actually love these bookshelves, but I hate them at the same time just because they are so flimsy. I didn't even anchor them to the wall, which is kind of terrifying being that I sit right here and thinking that, you know, every day I could potentially die if they fell on me, but it's okay because I'm actually going to be trying to get the Ikea Billy bookshelves and I'm so excited about that because it's literally going to be my dream and I'm going to be able to anchor them to the wall and it's going to be beautiful and safe and I'm so excited. But anyways, I believe this one is from Walmart and this one is from Target. The reason we have two Two different ones is because we had originally bought the Walmart it was set up perfectly I had it in Los Angeles I moved back here it was still set up nicely I love it and then we got another one from Walmart and it literally we got two and they both fell apart when we set them up here in the sense that I was under them and I screamed for my brother because I was potentially gonna die because it was gonna crush me and yeah so we just had to throw those away so I got this one from Target once again it's really flimsy and it's not because we built them incorrectly it's literally just it's really cheap so I'm going to be definitely investing in some nicer bookshelves but anyways if you're in a pinch these work and I love the size of this one specifically but I'm gonna be okay if the other one happens to be a little smaller but I think it's about the same width I'd have to double check anyways I'm a huge fiction nerd so I'm not gonna really be going through all of the books on my bookshelf that would definitely have to be a complete different video but I definitely like to assort them in kind of the ones that are my favorites and kind of just series that fit together because I like to keep them by the series this one is definitely my favorite overall it's so amazing and so I kind of organize it by the color and which ones are my favorites so I absolutely love almost every single book on this bookshelf and I read every single one pretty much except for this shelf here right here just because that is my need to read shelf and so I'm really excited about that but once again I just need to find more time in my day to be able to sit down and read again and we're just gonna look at this shelf real fast so I actually haven't read Outlander yet that's kind of a need to read as well but it really fit on the shelf I have another picture of me and my best friend and my beautiful Owen and Owen is actually the model I used when I did the Dear Evan Hansen body paint and once again I will leave that linked down below if you guys want to check that out and that is just the stuffed bear that I got from Paris over here we have these fake flowers in this iridescent glass tube and I actually got the glass tube from home goods today and I have so many fake flowers that I just needed a good way to store them because typically all of these shelves here are full of old things because once again, this isn't completely my room. I hijacked almost all of it. However, a lot of this stuff still holds things from when we were kids. So for example, you open this up and you have a crap ton of toys that we kind of keep for future kids one day. So once again, there's not really a lot of storage in here, so I have to definitely try and be careful with what I have. So I just decided to store this over here because, once again, no one really comes over here, and but we still wanted to have a pretty enough glass tube for it so it can, you know, still look presentable. But once again, it doesn't really matter because it's literally just holding fake flowers. So next you look over here and I have, you know, my backdrop. Uh, hiding away half of my storage which I don't mind this is space wise the way I liked it the most because once again I have this coffee table here so if I had this scooted over to where it was center 
with the shelving, then I would be really close and then I have a lot of extra space out over here. So I kind of just shifted everything over because, you know, I don't care about symmetry or anything like that. And I know a lot of people do, so that's a problem, especially for my mom. But anyways, I just keep hats up there. I'm not gonna get this stuff down just because it is really simple and I'm a small person and it hurts me to do these things. So <laughs> I just have a bunch of hats there. This has a bunch of extra miscellaneous stuff. So for example, I have extra latex, extra isopropyl mirror straight, extra 99% alcohol, extra containers, all of that fun stuff. I just kind of keep that all up there because it's really heavy and I hope I don't have to get it down that often. So I just kind of keep it up there where I don't have to worry about it. Next you come down and we have my black light that I have right here just because there really isn't a better place to store it. Some really cheap wigs or wigs that I just don't normally grab a lot. So for example, these are the really synthetic ones that don't necessarily look so realistic that maybe might be for a Disney princess that are, you know, just very particular that I don't grab that often. Then right up here, I will grab this because it's light enough. I keep all of my fake contact lenses here. So this is how I store all of my fake contact lenses just because I don't have enough to really warrant like drawers or anything like that, but this works. So I just have all of my extra cases right here. I have some extra liquid and cleaner right here. Once again, more extra cases and then, you know, a travel case and then some cases that aren't really the cleanest that I probably wouldn't grab right away. Then I have all of these organized by color and how realistic they are. So I'm actually going to be printing out a piece of paper to store at the very bottom of it just so I know what brand it is because whenever I use someone's products, I definitely want to be able to tag them and mention them. So for example, you guys can know, oh, what kind of contacts is she wearing? And you guys can kind of see. So basically I like to try and organize them by case color to match the contact lens color as well. So for example, my Pennywise ones that are yellow, I have in this yellow case. My red ones I have in this red case. My purple ones in the purple, my gray in the gray, my light blue realistic, my light green realistic, and then here are the ones I need to try and find cases for because here are my all black, here all my are white, and here are the all white with the black rim. And so that's just kind of how I store them. Once again, I wanna get pictures so it looks better, but this definitely helps a lot, just kind of being able to move these as I wish. And then I have all of the old containers right here in case I'm really in a pinch, and for some reason I don't have these, I can stuff my contact lenses in there. So the great thing about this is that it is super light, so I can honestly just move it, but you know, you don't wanna really do that because fire. So I'm just gonna move that. I'm actually gonna turn that off because now the effect is gone. That's kind of all I cared about for you guys was so you could be like, oh wow, it's such a cool looking place but that's over now. So right here I have my other travel makeup kit. This is typically a set bag, so I will have some extra makeup brushes, I will have some cleansing towels, I will have, you know, just all of like the small stuff like hand sanitizer, and that's where I'll hold my brushes when I go on set. This is kind of for the bigger things like latex or isopropyl mirror state, alcohol, if I need to bring prosthetics. I have this really nice big container that I can kind of store everything in and it has a handle. And then right back here, I have the redhead, which I use to make bald caps. So that just kind of goes behind there because I don't really make bald caps all that often just because it's a process. And then right in this one, I'm not gonna open it, but it just has some like Ziploc bags and old stuff that I don't really mess with that much. You know, all old, old tech things. Like once again, more extension cords, more headphones, more bleh. And this is one of my favorites. I actually don't like the way I'm storing my wigs right now, but this is kind of all I can do just because I really liked when I could store them in my drawer, but this is kind of the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out for you guys. So once again, I don't really like how this is organized just because it's not as organized as I would like to be and it's kind of more of a hassle to get out and everything. But anyways, you go in, this is kind of where I keep all of the typical wig accessories. So it has the brush, it has T-pins for when I place them on the styrofoam head. It has some extra bald caps and or wig caps, forgive me. So I have all kinds. I personally like the kind that you can completely pull your hair through. And so I have some wig cleaner. So all that just kind of goes in here because that is stuff that I use typically every time. So I just pull the bag out and I just go over into my little corner over there and set up my wig stuff. Then we have all of the more natural wigs or the wigs that I actually grab more often. So we have some wig as fashion. We have uni wigs. Personally, I don't like uni wigs. Um, I think they're really nice and they come in like a nice box and everything, but I feel like I'm touching glue every time I touch a wig. They're just not my personal favorite. Then I have some that I've gotten from Nigel's down there, and I also have more wig as fashion. Some two that were actually my first wigs that I'm not quite sure where I got them online, but I'll have to try and find that. 
then once again more wig is fashion more wig is fashion more wig is fashion more wig is fashion I obviously love wig is fashion I just feel like they have the best quality and they look the most realistic their lace fronts are amazing and I do think that they are really affordable for a lace front wig all of them are typically under a hundred dollars most of them that I use are even under 60 so for example that one right there so beautiful beautiful quality looks amazing and it's under $60 so I just kind of keep all my more natural wigs here so I'll just pull it out grab whichever one I need go over there and style it back there I just have a toolkit I have two things of hand sanitizer that are huge so I can refill and a bunch of you know glasses and stuff like that then I have real contact stuff and once again backdrop closes and Boom, baby, it's gone. So next we are moving to the plethora of the filming station. So the backdrop stand is from Amazon, the clamps are from Amazon, and all of the fabric is from Joann Fabrics. Now typically I either get two to three yards of fabric. Typically you can get away with two, um, but maybe if you like plan on doing a collab with someone and you want a lot of space or studio space, you might want to get three, but personally two is more than enough. You can fit your entire body and then some in the camera range. So go ahead and get two. And if you need more, you can kind of start going up from there. So then I just have this lamp that <laughs> doesn't have a shade on it. And typically people like to either have one above you or one that's really far down below, but I think this works personally. I don't care if I lean over and people see it because you know, this is the industry. This is what I have to work with. So the lamp I've had since Ohio, we probably got it from like Target or Walmart. All of the light bulbs are from either Ralph's in Los Angeles or you can get them from Home Depot. I just looked online. Home Depot literally has every single light bulb that I own. So all of these you can get from there. And so I just have it plugged in to my extension cord over there. And and I just can turn it on and off and this is what creates that really pretty vignette right behind you so I absolutely love this and it's just on top of a Walmart side table now as you can see it's a design but it's kind of like straight and then crooked but it's the design of the end table but anyways that's just right there now I recently finally upgraded to a new chair because the other one I had was those Walmart poker table chairs and the ones that creak and get rested and mine was literally falling apart I was afraid that I was gonna get stabbed in the back because literally a piece was jutting out from the back and it was sharp and I would keep like poking myself on it so I finally got this one from Ross I believe it was $50 but it's so nice the only problem is it swivels and I definitely get distracted but I love it so much it's really easy to clean I definitely need to do that but all you take is a wet paper towel and and you just wipe it down you know you can even take some Windex or whatever either but you know when it's just water activated body paint it's just easy to use water to remove it next moving on to the table this is the poker table that you can get from Walmart and as you can see this is clean mind you it is just stained by body paint and everything else so it has makeup all over it but once again I think it's kind of cool it's kind of my journey and makeup seeing everything that I've ever done so I kind of keep a basket of everyday makeup right here just so I can like easily reach it so for example primer is right here a lipstick I use a lot concealer so I just kind of keep that all right here because it's very easy to access moving down there I have just a little trash can because whenever I'm doing any sort of special effects or body paint I have so much trash and extra paper towels and latex sponges all of that crazy stuff so it's just really nice to have that so I can just throw it all away now as you can see I have a little thing of tweezers right here just because I don't really have a better place to put it I have some tissues because I need to grab those all the time because translucent powder gets in my nose and I can't stop sneezing and my nose is watering and it happens with any translucent powder but the story of this guy is because I, I sit down hi how are you because the mirror is here but the camera will go all the way right there which I wish I had another camera so you guys could kind of see how it works but I can't be looking down here and the camera is literally right up here because then I'm just facing down here and you guys see at the top of my head which I did see I would do in a lot of my older tutorials so this guy comes into play and I just do this and believe it or not, bringing it up like this extra two or three inches helps a lot when it comes to filming because I can tilt this up like this and I can see what I'm doing while I'm looking at the camera. It works. As you can see, everything is a process. Um, I am ordering a new mirror that is adjustable, so I'm so excited about that. I know I'm probably weird, but I'm just so excited because it should be coming up to like 
here so I can actually like look at myself and have the viewfinder and camera right there so I'm so excited about that you guys have no idea and then I can kind of like move this away because honestly like that's kind of ridiculous I had a time where it like fell backwards into this and I was afraid my ring light was gonna break but you know once again everything's a scare with me so that just kind of goes there also the good thing about having this is whenever I do product shots I hate having to close this up and fix everything so I just grab this and show it to the camera and then we're good. Since I sat down, I'm quite comfortable right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. So right here, I have a mouse, which you were like, why? Why do you have a mouse? Well, that's because when I film, I have this little tattoo tray right here that if I can remember the website I got it from, I will link it down below, but I put my laptop on the tattoo tray and I hook it up to my camera and this works as a monitor and viewfinder for me so whenever I'm filming I can actually see what I'm doing while also seeing myself up here where the camera goes and it's just magical and so I connect this mouse to it and I can move around the mouse from here so I don't have to keep leaning forward and doing things because after a while that gets old if you want to like change songs or if you're doing anything or you have to hit the we record button or anything like that so I just have this mouse right here and it's really awesome and so I just kind of keep that right there then we just have some more makeup stuff that I don't really need to go through or anything but I do have these morphe brush containers that is really good for traveling but I just kind of use it to hold my brushes at the moment so I have all of my eye brushes this isn't even all of them but these are the ones I typically use the most and then same thing with the face brushes once again I have so many that I need to clean you guys you have no idea I probably have a basket this size that is actually stacked to the top with makeup brushes that I need to clean I mean granted most of them are body painting brushes, but still it's actually ridiculous. So That's fun over here. We just have some skincare stuff nothing too big I have some cotton pads right there because I typically am using a lot more toner now than I used to which I'm really happy about trying to take care of my skin then I have some seasonal stuff or things that I don't use all of the time so for example during Christmas I had a lot of the makeup that I was using specifically for Christmas in this container so for example I had the lemon head gel that I was using a lot during Christmas the glitter so I had that in here I had my white eyeliner I had red eyeliner because those are things I was using a lot during Christmas now it just kind of has some of the lashes I'm using um, it has this currently because I was using this a lot during Valentine's Day so I kind of just stored that in here and you know just like little things that I typically go through more and then once I'm done with them I will transfer them back to my container this is actually an area that I'm not happy with whatsoever um, I was just originally having this but I ended up having too many palettes that I actually use on the daily so I ended up getting this bigger one and I just kind of stored this in here because otherwise they were really falling over so I'm just kind of using this for now but I'm hoping in the next month or so to be getting a new Ikea makeup desk and some Alex drawers and then the nine Alex drawer set over there along with some bookshelves so I'm gonna be broke but it's gonna be fine because all of this is gonna be so much better and so hopefully that's gonna happen that's actually why I'm filming this video now is because I want to show you guys my setup as it is before I started getting more of the technical stuff or the things that people will tend to use more so I want to show you guys like what I started out with for the most part now obviously a lot of these things I didn't have to begin with like I didn't have this super big one I actually had this small one that I got from Daiso in Koreatown like a lot of this stuff I did have so for example I had my ring light I had my tripod I had that little guy I had the tattoo stand I did have my backdrop stand and then some backdrops I had my lamp and a few light bulbs maybe like three or four and I did have this and then typically you know my older chair so a lot of this stuff is kind of older and what I've been using but I would love to upgrade to a better table and you know get some drawers because you know once again storage is kind of difficult so this is how it looks from the other side and so this is a tripod that my parents actually gave to me once again it's probably from Best Buy or something like that and then this ring light I got I believe it was from Amazon it is the Diva ring light and what I absolutely love about it is it is dimmable so I actually got one from Amazon that was $200 cheaper and it wasn't dimmable so I tried to get a dimmable switch and it didn't really work. It made this clicking sound and overall I just didn't like it. 
it got really hot, a lot hotter than this one. It didn't have a diffuser, which is this thing on it. And so I just wasn't happy with it. And so I ended up sending it back to Amazon and I spent 200 more dollars to get the Devo ring light. But honestly, it is the best investment for this because lighting means a lot. Of course, it is amazing to have natural lighting, which I use a lot when I film over here. But no matter what, I always use my ring light. It is just the holy grail and I love it so much. Also, if you're wondering what goes on here, well, I currently film with the Canon T6i. I use the video mic Rode Go mic and I have the dead cat to go on top of my microphone and so that is basically all that goes right on here and I love this because I can adjust this and it's really great just simple stuff. Next we're gonna move on to the shelving units. Now I'm actually not gonna get anything down just because I'm tiny and I'm out of breath already. So this keeps all of my holiday props. So for example anything that I use regarding costuming I keep up there. So for example when I did corpse Bride or Sally or Pennywise, all of those I keep up there. So I have a reindeer ears, I have poinsettias, I have some gloves, I have some weird bows, I have some sea netting, I just have a lot of weird stuff up there and some colored hairsprays as well. So those are all of my props. This is all of my applique stuff. So things that I get from Michaels that you would typically use for scrapbooking that you can glue onto yourself. So for example, some starfish, some fake flowers, any like stickers or anything like that that you could use on yourself. I kind of just keep in there. More of the 3D effects if you will. This just kind of is an empty basket that I can use to hold some extra hair stuff. Like I currently keep my old hair styling head and some extra styrofoam heads and stuff in there. And then right here is where I keep all the hair stuff that I use for clients. So I keep all my curling irons, flat irons, uh, hairsprays, anything like that that I use on them. However, I hate doing hair, so I don't really go into that often just because I'm not really happy doing hair. It's not my passion, but I do have the stuff in case I am in a twist and I need to get it done. So these two shelves are actually my favorite in this area. So over here, this actually doesn't usually go here. I just kind of have it here for now, but I don't have that many brushes just because currently I did a body paint last night and I have a lot of makeup brushes that I need to clean so those currently aren't in there. This one just has a lot of small makeup brushes that you know you can use for being really close up. Then I have some chip brushes and spatulas in here just like some small things so that just kind of goes there. I have a lot of weird things back there I guess so I have a glue gun, I have some gelatin, I have some molds that like you know like a brain mold so for example I could put some gelatin in there and make a gelatin brain. I have some bowls. I have just weird things back there. I love this one so much. So right here is all of my glitters and these are all of my rhinestones. And then up here are loose glitters, cosmetic glitters, cosmetic metal powders, glitter liners. All of that is in that top one. And I like it because I got those containers from Michaels. And so the top portion is smaller and they have a lot of smaller compartments. And then this one is bigger. So it's easier to fill with stuff. And then this is like my special effects area. So for example, right here, I have some extra witch hazel toners. I like the Thayers and I typically use those on clients. And so I have those right there. I have all of my body paints here. And so this isn't once again, the exact kind of storage that I would like, but it is, I would really like this kind of storage, but this is all that we could find because I think I got this container in Los Angeles and you know, I'm not there anymore. So I can't find the exact kind, but I love this one to just hold all of my light bulbs because all I will do is I'll grab it, twist it in and then take the old one and put it back and then I can just flip these shut. And so once again, it's so simple, but this is just something that I absolutely love storage wise. And I don't know if I would ever do anything different just because this works so well. Moving back there, I have a lot of special effects stuff. So I have coffee grounds for whenever I do, you know, some zombie makeup or, you know, anything rotting or dead. I have some plastic that I can use to make fake teeth. I have some flour for whenever I want to make thick latex. I have some bald caps. I have crepe wool. I have some extra liquid body paint. I have some KY jelly. I have some latex. I have isopropyl mirror state. I have glycerin. I have brush cleaner. I have 99% alcohol. I have cabasil back there. And so all of that is just back there. It's beautiful. I love it. And then right back in there is where I keep all of my cheap latex that I use to make bald caps for myself. And for clients, I use the nicer latex. But for me, I just make it with the cheap stuff that you get from Walmart during Halloween because latex is expensive and that stuff is like five dollars for a lot so I really like that. I have my two bottles of really 
awkward fake blood that I once again will use for Halloween if I'm covering my full body I don't want to use the really nice stuff. I have some of my nice fake blood I have some gel blood. I have gaff quat. I have some extra things like q-tips and buoys and anything like that I have some Aquaphor right here to cover eyebrows just you know simple stuff back there So that is it for this storage unit so next, I just have this circular chair that, you know, a lot of college students have, and I got it in black. I got it from Walmart. This blanket I also got from Walmart because it was on sale for like $10. It's actually like a queen size throw, but I just kind of use it to accent this couch a bit. And then I also got this Clockwork Angel pillow from Society6, and that is actually a pillow based on one of my books because I'm a nerd, and so I love it. Over here, I just have this little tray that my parents got me from Italy. I have this little flower thing. I have this, which if you plug it in, it shines stars onto the ceiling, which I think is really cool. I just have some potpourri under there just to give it some color. And my dad actually attached it to an old coffee lid because we're weirdos and we're innovative like that. And then I have a frame with my three best friends right there. Over in this corner, not that anyone cares, I have a large outlet that connects to an extension cord out here. And so this is kind of, you know, where I connect all my things to. I'd like to get a larger one, but just trying to work that out at the moment. And then I have this lamp that I think I got from Kirkland's, I believe. If not, I got it from Walmart, something like that. But I got it from my apartment in Los Angeles, and so it kind of just fit in this corner here. And I like it because if I want the lights out but I want to read or something, it's just the perfect amount of lighting. Right here, I have this couch, which I got from Rooms to Go. It's really great because if you have friends over, they can sleep on it because it's big and comfortable, and I absolutely love it. These pillows, I think I got them from Home Goods a long time ago. And then this pillow, I think I got from, I ordered it from Target Online a while back, I believe. Then this pillow, I also got from Society6 because it is a quote from my favorite book and it says, Rattle the Stars. Once again, that is also Home Goods. And then this blanket, I believe I got from Home Goods. No, I got this blanket from Ross and it was on sale and it was awesome. Then I just have this headboard that I've had literally since I was born. We spray painted it black and put some twinkling lights from Target on it. These are actually shower curtains and they're really great. I got them from Home Goods and they're iridescent and sparkly and pretty and then I just have some flower lights up there and it all connects to this extension cord that once again connects to the foot stepper and so it's really great. This is what I use for my backdrops for my more talkative videos like my favorites videos or anything like that. Then I have this table that my parents got from a garage sale when I was moving to Los Angeles. As you can see it has its fair share of scuffs that I just need to repaint but I'm too lazy to do so. I also have this tray that I got from Home Goods that I need to repaint just because it got, you know, all scuffed up and stuff. And then I got these two items from Home Goods recently for the summer. It's just a tray and a plastic pineapple. And once again, we come right back to the beginning. And this is the completed film room tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this, and I hope that this was helpful because I know I was stumbling a lot and my camera was going in and out of focus, but that's also because I really don't know anything about cameras. I just try my best. I honestly should take a video class or photography class, something like that, because I need to learn how to do things, but I'm also doing it all on my own. So trying to get something to focus while showing you guys something, can be difficult. Anyways, I hope that this made sense. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below and I will love to help you guys. If you need any help regarding storage or if you want to know what was in that container, like you didn't say, just like let me know and I will try and help you guys. I'm also going to try and list everything down below that I was primarily using, mostly for the tech side of this stuff. Um, the containers and everything, I mostly got them from the container store, unless I said otherwise. And a lot of the furniture in here, unless it's from Walmart, I literally have either had them from years and just repainted them, or we got them from a thrift store. So I really hope that helps you guys. And once again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. And once again, take all of this with a grain of salt because this room is constantly changing. I just wanted to show you guys what's been really working for me lately. And you know, once again, it's going to be changing because I'm gonna be getting new furniture. But anyways, I really hope it helps. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!